Well, what's up guys, Chris Brown from Train Boston coming at you with another quick nutrition tip. This week's nutrition tip is to be boring and predictable. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I mean you should be consistent with what you do, consistent with your behaviors and your patterns. When you were growing up, you might have heard from your parents, oh, Tuesday's meatloaf day and Wednesday's pot pie day or whatever. Now, the reason they did that wasn't because they absolutely loved that food. It was because it was probably a lot easier for them to plan the day ahead of time and know every single week they're going to have this kind of food. They know every single week I need to go to the grocery store and buy maybe ground beef. I need to buy potatoes. I need to buy milk. I need to buy eggs, etc., etc. And I know exactly how to make this one recipe and I know exactly how much I need to serve my family. You might have gotten a little bit sick of it, but you also might have found, hey, sometimes I'm really looking forward to Tuesdays because it's taco day or whatever food it was. Now, not all those foods are necessarily healthy, but being predictable and having it controlled and organized makes it a lot easier to be healthy. You can plan out those days, your Mondays to be something healthier, but something you actually like. You can even plan in something that's a little less healthy, but because you made it, just as I said in my last week's tip, it's probably a lot better off than if you ordered takeout or went to a restaurant. Being consistent also allows you to easily track your calories. If you're consistent for a few weeks with the same foods, the same portion sizes, and the same ingredients, eventually it becomes easy for you to figure out exactly how many calories you're getting in. I'm not always a proponent of doing macros and exact calorie counting with everybody, but it can be helpful if you're having trouble losing weight or putting on muscle. All right, guys, so if you can take that tip and just bring it into your life a little bit by maybe putting some consistent days like Tuesday, I have chicken and broccoli. Wednesday, I have chicken piccata. Thursday, I have salmon and asparagus. And just be consistent day in, day out. You're going to start to see trends. You take those trends and you slowly ease your behaviors towards better trends. You find one bad thing you replace it with something not quite as bad. And over time, you start to see results. It won't feel like work because it will be something you're doing every single day, every single week. Once you get to that point of consistency and you're seeing results, not only will you crave that consistency and you'll crave the results that are associated with them, but you'll find it easier to make changes slowly. You'll find it easier to not just overhaul your entire life. All you'll have to do is say, hey, I need to change one more thing. And then on top of that, if you do choose to make a probably a not as good decision, maybe less bad decision, like, hey, maybe I'm going to have some pizza today every once in a while, it won't be as damaging. All right, guys. Well, I hope you learned something from the nutrition tip. Please try it out and let me know how you do.